Hey everybody, I was at Toronto International Film Festival and I saw some movies. One of them's coming out next month and it was pretty dank. Let's talk about this one first. It's called Widows, the new movie from Steve McQueen, my second favorite director. Now, if you've never seen a Steve McQueen film, I would highly, highly recommend that you do. He brings so much to his movies with his voice as a director. They're incredibly polished and meticulous and creative and emotional. He always manages to get outstanding performances from the actors that he works with. So please do yourself a favor and check Check out Hunger and Shame and 12 Years a Slave. His newest film, Widows, is in some ways a departure from his previous films. From the story and presentation, this is likely the most accessible film he's made. And in some ways, this is kind of his attempt at making a normie movie. The recurring aspects of his presentation that could be considered challenging aren't really found in this film. It almost feels as though there was a high value placed on this film being sellable, which honestly, I don't really have an issue with, even though I would personally prefer more challenging films myself. Either way, it is undeniable that Steve McQueen's talent shines through this film. It still manages to be creatively presented, the majority of the performances are absolutely fantastic. With Steve McQueen directing a film like this, it really shines a light on what other similarly accessible films get wrong. I cannot tell you how long it's been since I've actually been legitimately intimidated and scared by a villain. It is undeniably refreshing to see a film like this where you can actually feel the weight and consciousness consequence. There's actual stakes in this film, and it's incredibly easy to feel for the characters and their struggles. They're very relatable and well-written, the dialogue is purposeful and interesting, and oftentimes charmingly funny. This film actually has a good amount of comedy in it, and it never takes away from the seriousness of the overall story. I don't really want to spoil too much about the story, but let's just say that it's a really great heist movie with female leads. I really hope this film is successful because I love this director, and I'm excited to see every new film he makes makes. I'll definitely be checking this one out again when it gets a wide release on November 16th. So definitely check this one out for yourselves. It's awesome. It's got a bit of cheese, especially for a Steve McQueen film, but it's all relatively forgivable. I don't consider this film to be as great as his other films, but holy crap, that's a really high bar to set anyway. Yeah, what can I say? I really loved it, so check it out. And I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Another film I saw at the festival was The Death and Life of John F. Donovan, directed by Xavier Dolan. Now, Dolan is a very interesting director who has made some films that I really love. Mommy is a great one to check out, and you can hear me and Chris Stuckman and I Hate Everything and Ralph the Movie Maker talk about it on the Sardonicast podcast. Not every one of his films is amazing, but they're all somewhat interesting in a way. I recently checked out his previous film, It's Only the End of the World, and it wasn't great, but it was still good and pretty consistent. As for his newest film, however, consistency is just thrown out the fucking window. This movie was honestly kind of a big fucking mess. It wasn't completely completely terrible or incompetent when looking at individual scenes. I mean, some scenes were genuinely terrible, but others were pretty good. But the movie's biggest problem is that it feels like he didn't even know what he was making as he was making it. It feels as though he filmed his entire movie without any kind of vision and then tried to just figure it out in editing. There's lots of music in the film that's clearly just stuff he was listening to on his iPod or whatever. There's some quirky characters and some great performances, but it's all tied together so poorly. There's several scenes scenes in the film that are presented in a way where it's clear that you're supposed to be feeling some sort of emotion from it, loud music playing while characters run towards each other in open arms for a hug, but there wasn't anything that justified what we're being shown. Like, yay, we did it! W what did we accomplish here? It was th when, when was this conflict ever shown? It's a movie that tried to do a lot of things at once and I guess just got confused and forgot to develop them properly. The overarching story of this movie plays out as though it's trying to be some sort of classic film. It starts out with a snob reporter meeting a guy to ask about John F. Donovan's life, and as he tells the story, the rest of the movie is just a bunch of flashbacks, essentially. Every once in a while, it'll cut back to the reporter and the guy as though there's some sort of purpose towards it being presented in this way. There was a character that showed up near the end of the movie and only existed for one scene. Not even really sure why he needed to be there, but it was so unintentionally comical. It felt like he was a wizard plucked straight out of Harry Potter or some shit. It was so ridiculously unfitting. The first third of this movie was decent, but as it went on, it just slowly started to fall apart. As the film continues, it becomes more and more impossible to take it seriously. It was kind of like watching a train wreck. Now, I can't even really be sure what Dolan was going for in this film, but in a way, it kind of feels like he was also trying to make a normie movie, except he doesn't know how, I guess. There were no plot lines in this film that led to anything satisfying. The vast majority of the film just felt unnecessary. I'm not even sure what anyone really learned or accomplished 
accomplished by the end of it. Anyway, check this one out if you want, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I kind of have my doubts that this is gonna get much of a release at all. I still love Dolan, and I hope that he makes some more competent films again in the future, but this film just plain didn't work. And I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10.